You inhale up. Feel yourself breathing up. Tap again for me, Nia, please. And then from there, you inhale up a little bit more. And then now with, the, with that exhale, you're going to make the one strong and let it go down four. Ah! And still pull in here. Inhale. A little bit more. Open the mouth and ah! Really pull in, pull up into that navel. One more time, inhale, a little bit more, and then the dolphin shoots out of the water. <sighs> and pull in, exhale, shoot the water out. Or you could think of a, a cork, you know, that pops and then fizzles down, you know, sparkling uh, grape juice, you know, that feeling. One more time, inhale. <sighs> but these are all cleansing breaths. These are all breaths to get circulation going, to take the poisons out of your system and, and to invigorate you, give you good circulation. Next one I'm gonna do is called the bumblebee breath. And the bumblebee breath is where you're going to make a humming sound. And that's always on the exhale again, because the exhale is so important because you are making room for more oxygen. So uh, this one here on the exhale, you're going to try to let go of some of your sensory and you're going to press into the ears. You're going to close your eyes and you shouldn't even hear the music, right? Then you're going to exhale and hum. Inhale, you're going to be just like you are now. But you can take your thumbs and just press in and close your eyes. Take a breath, inhale. Inhale. And we're just doing like a four count. Inhale. Still pulling in at the navel, still squeezing it. One more time, inhale. And that is such a good exercise to clear again. You have feel brain fog, you feel fatigue. It'll energize you again. Just that, yep, just letting that go. And it, if you can hear the music, then you're not putting enough pressure because you shouldn't hear the music. Your eyes should be closed. Mm -hmm. You don't hear that, hear that humming sound only. Debbie, can you turn sideways so I can see where your hands were? Mm -hmm. I had my thumbs right here um, so that I could close off my ears. <laughs> or if that... You can't have that kind of pressure on that little uh, nodule right there. Then you can just press real hard like this. Got it. Thank you. Because mm -hmm. you want to make sure you take the sound off. But I like using the thumbs because I can really close everything off better. And then, like I said, if I didn't have my glasses on, I would press up against my eyes and make sure that same thing, everything is totally uh, closed. Mm -hmm. And just hold, hand, just hold your hand so I can just see your hand and then I'm good. So okay. I got, got my ears closed off and where'd you place your hands? Across my eyes. Got it. Thank you. Yes, that's the whole point. Cross your eyes. And that's on the exhale. And then just mm, and let it go and inhale. Mm -hmm. One more time, inhale. And mm -hmm. so the whole point is on that hum, you really are pulling in. And 
think of those lower abdominal muscles coming up and into the navel. Below the navel, those are the rectus abdominal muscles coming up and in. All right, let's go into some of the uh, exercises with uh, concentrating on the breath because while you're doing yoga, you should always be working on your breath at the same time. One of the regular exercises, do our twist because it's so important. Here's the left hand crossing over and look, I'm putting the right hand in the back of my seat. Then I inhale up my vertebrae from that lower back. Inhale up my chest, shoulder blades together. Then I exhale and I twist. Got my shoulders a waistline. And then I inhale back up. I exhale and change. Cross it over, put the hand behind you. Inhale up, exhale, and give yourself that twist. Notice I'm not moving my head. I'm keeping my chin in line with my breastbone, my sternum, right in the middle. And then I inhale and bring myself back center. Exhale and relax. Real important. Don't crank your neck, you know, not, that's what I'm saying. You should have no stress in doing any of these exercises. One more time, cross over, put that hand behind you. Inhale up, exhale, pull in at that navel. Just use this hand to help you twist. Inhale back center, exhale and change, last time. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. And inhale back. Exhale and relax. Good. Bring our legs forward and just work the joint areas here. This is for circulation. You got the synovial fluid going in the knees and in the ankles, hip sockets. So you should just do this. Nobody can even know you're doing it because nothing should be happening up here. This is just, you know, underneath your desk or whatever. But it helps to keep you alert again. And it helps definitely the circulation, bringing that blood back to your heart. And then slowly pull one leg in, put the foot down and pull the back up at the same time. Pull the other leg in and pull that back up at the same time. And lift that right foot, flex and extend. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and down. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Circulation around. Circle. Two, three, four. Reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Change. And one, two, three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. And then do the same thing in the hip socket. Lift your leg up and one, two. Three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, four, and down. Stay, try to lift up and stay centered as much as you can. And one, two, three, four, and reverse it. Two, three, don't make that noise. Three, four, and down. Good. Then you can try to open up your hip socket. Lift that leg up. Reach it out to the side. Lift back up and back in and down. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale down one more time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale down. So you need energy to pick up the legs. So that's the inhale. Then when you put it down, you exhale. Inhale, you need energy. Exhale when you bring the leg down. Good. Now. This protects the knee. Flex that foot, push that heel, and just lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, bend and down. Inhale, push and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, and down. This time we're gonna reach it, and then we're gonna flex and extend. Two, three, four, five, six. This one in line. Seven, eight. And inhale and down. Put the weight on the inner heels and lift and ball mount. And one. Let's pause. 
next to the big toe, the ball of that foot, rests down, standing leg, grounded. And inhale and down. Now we have to work more on that lifeline again because it's so important. This is called the cat and the cow, which you should do every day. And that's where you just drop this buttocks down and really try to pull these vertebrae up. Pull the shoulder blades together and stretch that chin. Don't drop the head back, just stretch the neckline. That's cow. Now tuck the buttocks under. This is what's important. Tuck the buttocks under, round the back, pull the pubic bone up into the navel and open up the shoulder blades. Stay in the inner instead of thinking on the outside of your shoulders, shoulder blades. And then the chin in the chest, that's the cat. Then inhale, sit up on the sitting bone, pull the upper torso out of the lower torso. Exhale, tuck under and pull the pubic bone up into the navel, pull those rectus abdominal muscles up into that navel. And inhale, pull up straight and stretch the neckline. Exhale and tuck under. Press your feet down. This is good for digestion. Inhale and lift up. And last time, exhale. Pull the air out. And then come back to neutral. Sitting up on your sitting bones. That's your cat and cow. Now, hands down by your side. And what you're going to work on now is called a hinge position. The hinge is just from that waistline. That means just like a door, just the hinges. That means th this part has to stay straight. Don't move your head. Just hinge forward. When you hinge forward, I want you to reach your arms forward because when you do that, you're stretching that lower back again. So you're going to hinge forward. This is on the exhale. And then you're going to relax over. Just drop your hands in your chest and stretch your spine. Okay. Now lift your head up and your chest up. My back is arching. I'm stretching here again, my lower back. And then I'm sitting up on my sitting bones with my chest up and my shoulders back. And I'm ready to start again. Here I am. That's my inhale. Then I exhale, bring my hands forward, stretch my spine. And then drop forward, drop my chin in my chest. Then I inhale, lift my chest up, my shoulders go back, sit up on my sitting bones and pull my spine up. Remember the back of the neck is a part of the spine. Don't lift the chin, pull up straight, pull the chin slightly in. Last time, exhale and fold down. Inhale, lift up, and all the way up into a straight line. Okay, so you go from a hinge to a fold to an arch back, and then into your straight neutral back. Right, all right. Let's do uh, our legs open, and let's do what we call a side angle because we worked on the twist a little bit. So let's work on the inner thighs and the twist at the same time. You're going to take your left hand, bring it here and press open. Put your right hand on your hip. You inhale, open up your groin area. And then exhale, twist to the right. And then slide that hand down to the left. Now you're stretching here. Now put your hand salute at your forehead. And then exhale and stretch that armpit and give yourself a stretch to the side as you are pressing open. So we're doing a lot of things at the same time. Then bring your hand down and inhale up. Back to your center. Exhale and change. Right hand at the inside, left hand in the hip. And press open, inhale. Then exhale, twist to the left and slide down the right. Then inhale. Then stretch that armpit so you stretch your side, pulling up out of that lower torso. Bring that hand down and then inhale yourself up your center. Exhale and relax. One more set. Inhale, press open the groin area. 
Exhale, twist, pull the pubic bone up in the navel. Inhale, salute, stretch that armpit. Exhale, stretch over, wherever is comfortable. And bring your hand down, inhale up. Exhale and change, last one. Inhale up, press open, press your feet down. Exhale, twist, slide down. Inhale, salute. Exhale, stretch that armpit, elbow back. Bring the arm down and inhale yourself up. And exhale and relax. And bring your legs in and out and back to the parallel line. Now we do that trousel where we squeeze together. So we begin working those inner thighs and outer thighs and then go inside sides of your feet to stretch your ankles and then open back up. We're working just here. Keep the chest up, keep the shoulders back. Nothing's happening on the top. Inhale, squeeze. Keep pulling up because gravity is pulling us down. So keep pulling up that chest, shoulders back. Exhale, stay pulled up and just open. Pull that pubic bone up into the navel. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, open. One more time, inhale, squeeze tightly. And exhale, and open, and inhale, and come back center. That's the feeling that you wanna have. Okay, let's work the waistline a little bit more. Now, we were talking about last time, Mary, bring your hands down by your side, and reaching that, let's just take the left hand, Reaching that left hand up, fine. Think all in here. All these oblique muscles on the side and bringing it by your ear. Palm facing in. And then from here, this hand is stretching down. Now stretch over. Now take this hand, turn it over and reach and pull up. Armpits. Exhale, straight down. To the right arm. Inhale it up. Exhale, reach over, side bend, lateral bend. Now pull this arm, reach it, and let it pull you up. Arm fits. Don't lift the shoulders. And then exhale down. Everything down with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, last time, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale the arms down. The arms are separate, so you don't have to drop the chest around over or anything. Move those extremities separate from this upper torso, okay? Now, one more exercise with the breath and movement at the same time is the breath of fire. But we're not going to do it strong. We're just going to use it to understand that just do the breath is more important than the movement is. Your hands are right here. The thumbs are together and you're right below. The rest of the hands are below. Um, so you're on those lower abdominal muscles. You inhale. You just let that happen naturally. But when you exhale, you got to really pull in. And it has to be both through the nostril. Like you have something up in your nose and you're trying to sniff it out. Exhale and pull in at the navel. Everything is a one. It's one inhale and one exhale pulling in. And we're going to do 10 of those breaths. So let's try it. Ready? Take a breath. Here we go. And. Nope, remember, it's not through your mouth. It's all through the nostrils. <laughs> you got something up in your nose and, you, and you're blowing it out. Let's do it one more time. And one inhale, one exhale is one. That, that's one, and we're going to do 10 of them. Ready? Let's try it again. Ready? And. Okay. 
Now you're going to do that same feeling with the twist. And this is just to energize you again. You can put your hands up here on your shoulders or you can interlace them and right behind and pull your skull up, your chest up and interlace them and like you're you know, leaning on a uh, pillow and then open up the elbows. And then we're going to inhale to the right and exhale to the left. That is a one, okay? Ready and... Okay, we understand it. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the left. We're gonna inhale to the left and exhale to the right. Ready, and. And relax the hands back down. Go back to normal breathing. Practice that because you're doing two things at once. You're working on your breath, which is gonna energize you. And then at the same time, you are working on separating the upper torso from the lower torso. That's why I like to work on doing that breath. Then our concentration again, going back to just normal breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Now we're going to take what is called the half moon because we stretched our arms. So then Bring both arms down. You're going to inhale up. And again, you can interlace them together. You can turn them over and give yourself a more of a stretch on the side. Coming out of, out of that lower torso. And then exhale. No, go down too far. But pull out of that lower torso. Then inhale back up. Stretch those armpits. Exhale over. And then inhale back up. One more time. Exhale over. And then inhale back up. And if the fingers are, you know, you've got arthritis or something in your fingers, you could really hold on to your wrists if you wanted to. And come back parallel. And then exhale your arms down. Now, I want to get up and we'll stay up because we're at the end of class, but I want you to concentrate on how to get up using your heels, using your heels. Here, like this here, we're going into what is called the chair position. We went in it a little bit when we did forward like this and then we fold. So that's the same position. You're going to hinge forward into this position on your exhale. But when you do that, you're going to put the weight in your heels. You can lift your toes up a little bit. Put the weight in your heels and lift that butt up. That's what's important to get that buttocks off of the chair. No. And if you have to use your hand, use your hand. But visualize you not using your hand. Feel yourself pushing your feet down in the floor. So we inhale first. Then we exhale. See that? Now stay in that position and stretch your arms. Now push your buttocks down in line with your heels. Pull, push your hips forward. Pull the pubic bone up into the navel. Push your front thighs to meet your back thighs and pull yourself up. My knees, notice that one, that's why I'm getting to the side. I want my knees are bent. They, they're not really straight. In other words, there's no, I'm not locking my knees because that takes the energy. You pull up straight and bring your arms down. This is called Tadasana, which is one of the Sanskrit names for mountain pose. And you're standing strong like a mountain, pulling up. Bring your arms slightly back so that your chest is up and your shoulders are back. Pushing the hips forward, putting the weight into your heels, pull your toes up and Feel that standing strong like a mountain with the hips going forward, squeezing the gluteus maximus in into the anus muscles, pulling the pubic bone up into the navel, standing strong like a mountain. Okay. And then if you feel a little stiff, just go into a little Qigong, no hurt. <laughs> just wave. 
Let go, inhale and exhale. Anytime you're feeling a little stiff or something, this is again for circulation, for energy. Just straight. And then hit your abdominals and your kidneys. Palm up in the back. And palm down in the front. And this is really, really good. And let's go into the chest right below uh, the sternum and the breastbone. Uh, not the breastbone, the collarbone right up here, right below it. Hit. And then hit the shoulders. The same thing. Release that tension in the shoulders. Good. Come back. It's chest. And this helps the lymphatic system get that drainage of all the toxins coming down. Go back to the abdominals and the lower back, the drainage out of the kidneys. And then go back to waving. Good. And then we're going to close class, push those hips forward, squeeze in. Inhale. Come to the center with your hands together. Exhale to your heart. Inhale two more times. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming. Blessings. Are you have any questions or anything? No, but thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, I'm so glad that you came.